Hello, my name is Jen Braun and I direct the American Hospital Association's team training program. Welcome to the Team Steps Master Training Course onboarding webinar. I want to thank you for listening to this webinar as it's going to help prepare you and help you get the most out of your time with us. We want you to not only learn this material, but be able to apply it and start the process of culture change. The master training course you're attending is only one part of AHA's team training program. With about a decade of experience leading a national effort to bring team steps across the United States, AHA Team Trainly is uniquely positioned to bring you this in-person course. We also have virtual courses and workshops, not only on team steps, but other specialized topics that affect team performance, quality and outcomes, and resiliency. Our other educational offerings include free monthly webinars on a variety of topics. In the meantime, we continue to run a national conference. The Advancing Care Conference is an opportunity to learn from, collaborate with, and build relationships with an interdisciplinary audience from across the country and even the world with the best and next practices in healthcare. But overall, we are here to support you in a variety of ways, be it through our email and phone helplines, during our monthly webinars, and now through custom Team Steps training and advisory services. We're available to come to your organization with faculty who've been successfully tackling the same challenges you're facing at their home institutions. And you can contact us via our website for more information on these services and others. So let's get down to business. During this onboarding, I would like to answer a few questions for you. What is Team Steps? What is a master training course? What should I expect? And how do I best prepare? So we're going to begin with the first question, what is Team Steps? Team Steps is an acronym that stands for Team Strategies and Tools to Enhance Performance and, performance and Patient Safety. Uh, people often don't use this in its full name and it's become so well known in the field, but Team Steps is a system, a teamwork system that's based on decades worth of evidence. The genesis of this material comes from the airline industry in the 70s and 80s, as well as safety movements in high-risk industries, such as nuclear power and the military. All of this was codified into a healthcare teamwork system in the mid 2000s. Team Steps is a collection of tools that are proven to improve teamwork and communication with the end result of, of improving quality, efficiency, and patient safety. These are ready made tools that you can plug into your day to day work right away. They are the basis of good communication and they're also highly adaptable. You can use these in any clinical or non-clinical setting. It's designed to be really flexible and to work with any initiative that you might be doing in your organization. We don't like to think of Team Steps as yet another initiative. Instead, it's something that can support other initiatives, make them more sustainable, and connect them into other established projects. From nearly the start of the recent patient safety movement, Team Steps, or some form of it, has been present. It was launched in 2005 and has been brought to thousands of people, not only in the United States, but worldwide. It's truly been a global movement. In the 10 years that AHA has been involved uh, with a national effort to bring Team Steps to the field, we've trained thousands of individuals from hundreds of institutions through our partner faculty. Many of these faculty continue to serve at AHA Team Training Regional Training Centers. Some of them have a decade or more experience training while also using team steps in their day-to-day -day work. And the launch of AHA's team training program in 2017 signaled a new period of spread of the material, partnerships, and innovation. So the goal of team steps is to produce highly effective teams that optimize the use of information, people, and resources to achieve the best outcomes, clinical or otherwise. In other words, team steps help people work together and be the best they can as individuals and as teams. We feel that healthcare works like a team of experts now, where everyone is individually skilled, but perhaps moving in different directions. Does this sound familiar? We want to transform that team of experts into an expert team. Human error goes dramatically down when people communicate, have each other's backs, and show support, are situationally aware, and learn how to lead. We can't rely on the fact that being knowledgeable and good at our jobs is enough. Human factors teach us that this isn't the case. 
Training and teamwork skills help alleviate the opportunity for errors, poor quality, and inefficiencies. And these skills must be trained. Even though they seem second nature, teamwork is not innate. It's a learned skill. Really, the cost of team steps is minimal compared to the savings. It doesn't involve investing in technology or equipment or anything of the sort. Instead, it's about people and finding the time to get those people trained. It's necessary to put a system in place after training to follow up and ensure that the work of culture change is getting done too. Team steps has proven to create positive changes in team behaviors, save organizations money, increase both patient and staff satisfaction, along with improved outcomes and greater efficiencies. Here's an image that you'll become accustomed to as you begin your team steps journey. On the left are common barriers to good communication and teamwork. Take a look at these now and see how a lot of them are probably prevalent in your organization. Don't feel bad because they're pretty much prevalent in all organizations and in all industries, industries really. In fact, they're probably even prevalent at home. In the middle section are the tools and strategies that make up the Team Steps program. During time at the course, You'll learn about all these tools and you'll learn how to practically use them and implement them to best address your situation. Remember, Team Steps is adaptable. We want to make it work for you and your organization. Lastly, on the right column, you'll see the outcomes we're looking for, including shared mental model, adaptability, team orientation, mutual trust, team performance, and most importantly, patient safety. The tools may be learned in two days, but this is a road that will take persistence, support, and a sense of personal mission and ownership on your part. Of course, we're here to help you every step of the way. Now we're gonna talk a little bit more about what a master training course is and what you can expect to get out of the course. The Team Steps Master Training Course is based off of a train the trainer model. It's important to understand that you'll be wearing two hats during this training. The first hat, is a student hat. You'll learn about team steps and become further familiar with the tools and the methodology. The second hat is a teacher or coach hat where you'll learn how to be equipped to teach team steps to others. So these two components combined will provide the opportunity and ability to implement and coach team steps at your organization. We often get the question, what does it mean when I'm a master trainer? Technically, a master trainer means the individual attended a two-day Team Steps master training course and therefore has the skills to train others. Team Steps is in the public domain, which means there's no governing body or official certification. You are welcome to train others to be master trainers, create your own certificates of completion, and modify the curriculum to best suit your needs when you return back to your organization. So you will walk away with these practical skills and tools, knowledge about the fundamentals of team steps as well. These include team structure, communication, leading teams, situation monitoring, and mutual support. You will then have the opportunity to work with our experienced faculty to create a personalized plan to train and or implement team steps at your organization. Next, we'll briefly discuss what you can expect when you arrive on site at your course. So this is a high level agenda. On day one, you'll go through all seven modules that make up the fundamentals of team steps, which is really the what. The second day you'll be working with your class and the faculty, and this time will be spent focusing on the how. So how do you implement coach and create change back at your organization in order to form an implementation plan? Over the course of two days, you will not only cover the fundamental skills and tools of team sets, but you'll also have the opportunity to network and problem solve with your peers and experienced faculty. We always recommend that you come to the course with a specific challenge in mind. After participating in the course, don't be surprised if your next steps might not be what you thought they would be when you arrived. You may discover that throughout the two days that your problem or challenge has shifted. While you are at the course, you'll receive a folder with a hard copy of the slides along with a flash drive of the materials and additional resources. 
An online resource is available to you, um, which is the AHA team training website. This website contains registration for upcoming courses, webinars, and the national conference. It also contains information about additional implementation opportunities through the program, including an option where the faculty travels to your organization to customize and work with very depart various departments to enhance your team steps implementation. We also have an extensive research and evidence base on team steps and team training in general. As always, we're here to help you along the way. After the course, you'll also have access to our helpline for any additional questions that may come up. Individuals who have attended and signed in both days and have completed the online evaluation form will be eligible for 13 JA continuing education credits. Joint accreditation is appropriate for those in the field of medicine, nursing, and pharmacy, and it is also appropriate for most allied health professionals and other non-clinical professions. You and your organization are investing in a lot in order for you to attend, whether it's money or time. And we want you to leave the Team Steps Master Training course as successful as possible. And that begins with preparation. On this slide, you'll see what we're specifically asking you to do. The good news is you are practically done with the first step, which is to watch this onboarding webinar. If you are attending the course with a team member, please be sure that they watch it as well. The second step is optional. You can check out a recorded webinar on the what and why of team steps. It's a really great resource. Our faculty at the University of Washington walks through select tools and concepts of team steps. And as I mentioned earlier, the faculty will be covering a lot of information during your course. So by watching this webinar in advance and becoming a little bit more familiar with the tools, the information may stick better. I think it's a really helpful webinar to watch in general, whether you're familiar with team steps or completely new to the material. The link to the webinar is on the screen, but also included in the confirmation email you received after you registered. The last thing you'll need to do before your course is to complete the pre-work worksheet. You can download your worksheet by going to your confirmation email. And if you're coming to the course with others from your organization, we only need you to submit one worksheet per team and it's due one week before the course and you can email it directly to us. The pre-work worksheet is designed to prepare you for the course and narrow your focus to a specific challenge or opportunity for improvement when you do your implementation planning. In turn, it's also gonna give the faculty better insight to who you are and where you're coming from. The faculty do analyze these to help tailor the experience for each course, depending on your backgrounds. Luckily, this worksheet is not very time intensive and we anticipate it takes 30 minutes or less to complete. So we've been managing these courses for a number of years and wanted to pass along some tips that successful teams and individuals have done before coming. The first one is to do your research. Your faculty will talk about this during your course, but we aren't recommending that you necessarily start collecting new data. Instead, we urge you to look at process measures, satisfaction scores, and patient outcomes that you're already collecting. By looking at these in advance, it may help again narrow in on what you're trying to specifically accomplish. We also think it's a great idea to reach out to others in your organization who have been to a course or implemented Team Steps tools in their area. They'd be a wealth of knowledge. If you're not sure if anyone has been to a course before, ask around, or you can also check with us and we just might know someone doing great work in Team Steps at your organization. The second key tip is to build relationships. Change is not going to happen overnight. Identify stakeholders and key personnel who you think might be able to help support you after your turn is helpful. It would be great to identify those who you think would be a great team steps champion. Simply begin the conversation with these individuals and let them know that you're coming to the course. The last tip is to reflect and be purposeful as to why you're attending. I've alluded to the fact that we want you to identify a specific challenge or opportunity for improvement. This is asked in your pre-work worksheet, but I want to emphasize the part about being specific. Improving patient safety or fixing communication is not specific. It's a great end goal, but it's not something you're going to fix or improve overnight. So consider something like a particular process or an outcome you wish to improve. 
In addition, reflect on changes or new initiatives that your organization has been through. Find those bright spots. What was a su successful change you've been involved in and why has it worked? Identifying these can help when you begin to think about change in your implementation plan. So think about some of these tips and in terms of next steps, please submit your completed worksheet to us, uh, to team training at aha.org one week before your course. If you have any questions about the logistics surrounding your course, the pre-work or anything related to team steps implementation, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. So with that said, I want to wish you luck and remind you that we are here to support you in your team steps journey. Please do not hesitate to call or reach out to us over email or phone with questions, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.